This last we discuss about decoupled load flow method or DLF method. In a steady state operating condition, there is a strong interdependence between real power P, reactive power Q, magnitude of voltage modulus of V and load angle delta. There is a strong interdependence between real power P and load angle delta. We know that real power P is equal to E into V by X into sin delta, equation 3. There is a strong interdependence between reactive power Q and modulus of V. V2 is equal to V1 minus Q into X by V1 minus J into P by V1 into X, equation 4. I derived the equation 3 and 4 in my previous lectures. Please refer my previous lectures. Change in real power delta P is much sensitive to load angle delta and is very less sensitive to voltage magnitude modulus of V. Change in reactive power del Q is much sensitive to magnitude of voltage modulus of V and very less sensitive to load angle delta. In other words, the interdependence between P and modulus of V and Q and load angle delta are very weak. The real power P is decoupled from modulus of V. The reactive power Q is decoupled from load angle delta. The weak coupling is utilized in the development of decoupled load flow method. Equation 1 and 2 are called the static load flow equations. Consider a tuber system. This is the Jacobian matrix. Here, dou P2 by dou modulus of V2 is 0. Dou Q2 by dou del 2 is 0. Therefore, this is the Jacobian matrix. Change in P2 is equal to dou P2 by dou del 2 into change in delta 2. Change in Q2 is equal to dou Q2 by dou modulus of V2 into change in modulus of V2. So, in the decoupled method land, the null term the mukhya mana term. The null term la P vandu related to delta. And a very sensitive, less sensitive to the voltage modulus of V. Q is very sensitive to modulus of V, less sensitive to delta. Adhanal na mena pondro, in the P equation la, either vandu decoupled pondro, Q equation la, delta or decoupled pondro, Decoupled panita J2 and J4 in the end matrix is 0 by no. General of the system is there. There are two systems in the end term is 0 by no. In the end term is 0 by no. number del Q2 in the value, del Q2 in the value. This is the decoupled method. Why is the decoupled method? If you have a decoupled term, you can see the decoupled term. Now we will see the algorithm of decoupled load flow method. Step 1 Read the system data. Step 2 Form Y bus matrix. Step 3 Initialize the bus voltages. Step 4 Calculate the real and reactive power. Step 5 Check the reactive power limit. Step 6 calculate specified real and reactive power. Step 7 calculate change in del P and del Q. Step 8 calculate diagonal and off diagonal elements of J1 and J3 using these equations. Step 9 calculate first iteration load angle value, first iteration voltage magnitude value. Step 10 check the convergence value and print the results. Otherwise, go to step 4. Advantages of decoupled load flow method. 1. Fast convergence. Number 2. Requires less memory space. J2 elements are 0. J4 elements are 0. Number 3rd advantage is time required for convergence is same as neutral option method. One limitation is more number of iterations are required for convergence because of approximation made in it. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.